It is Saturday, July 11th. We are gathered here to talk comics and beer. Where I'm going to taste a beer, and then after that I'm going to talk about this week's books, huh? Sound like fun? I sure hope it is, huh? <laughs> Alright, so. The beer this week is this... Narragan set, I believe. But uh, this this white can with the lobster front and center definitely caught my eye. So I picked it up. When my wife got home, she cracked one of these open. She had a couple of sips. And she said, this tastes like bush light to me. I wish you'd buy better shit. So, whoa. Whoa. Let's see what we think here. Oh, it's a uh, golden ale dry hop with citra. So alcohol, ABV, 4.2%. So smells like a golden ale. Tastes like a golden ale with uh, a hoppy golden ale. It actually kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, that Metallica beer, Enter Night. I did a few months, uh, reviewed that a few months ago. So, um, it doesn't taste like bush light. My wife is wrong. Um, but I'll give this four bottle caps out of six. Not a bad beer at all. Not a bad beer at all, y'all. Um, Narragansett. Narragansett Brewing out of Rochester, New York, in case you were curious. So. Before we talk about this week's books, I wanted to talk about um, my eBay sales. They have been crazy this week. Crazy. Let's take a look at some of them. All right, um, so... I Books that I don't totally covet, I tend to sell in sets. So uh, this Goon 1 through 10 I sold, so that was a nice sale. Uh, this Go Go Power Rangers number 8, the Hyperforce variant, given to me by one Gary Neusser on drawing on the, um, the Comic Specfist Club. I'll put a link in the description to Gary's show. It's, it's pretty good. Excuse me. Let's get that out of the way right now. Uh, the Sandman, I talked about that uh, last week or two weeks ago. Found this when I was digging through boxes. Sold for $81. Uh, hopefully, uh, I, I, hopefully no one is bothered by me talking about books I've sold with, with the prices. Um, you know, whatever. Folks like to talk spec, and I sell some books, so why not? Uh, Spider-Man. Uh, this Amazing Spider-Man 1, the 802 Legacy variant. This was given to me by Juan Ben C. I used to write for CBSI a column called The Reading Pile. And uh, we were, the writers are given variants. And so I was given a variant for this. Normally I don't get too excited about a $20 sale, but when it's... Your profit, hey, that's cool. Um, and then, uh, wow, this Thor 5, Donny Cates, the Black Winter book, still fire. Fire. Usually a book like this is hot for the week and then drops way down, but uh, this, this Thor 5, still going strong. Y'all. So eBay sales, huh? eBay sales! Alright, let's take a look at some books. Alright, stealth number three. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I liked issues one and two much more than this. But this was, it was, it was good, it was good. I just like issues 
wanted to much better. And something funny about the art. Um, the art for this one. And I couldn't put my finger on it until... Uh, look at that. Uh, that top panel is from Stealth. And that bottom panel is from Avengers vs. X-Men by one John Romita Jr. Look kind of similar, don't they? <laughs> so uh, the, the art this issue in Stealth, it definitely reminded me of uh, John Romita Jr. Yeah. All right, what's next? Harley Quinn 74, I liked the, uh, the, the Cho co cover better for this one, but they were all damaged at the LCS, so I got this. Um, something funny about this was uh, this ridiculous villain, Granny Goodness. Doesn't that sound dumb as hell? But it's funny too. Uh, Harley battling Granny Goodness. Harley, this is a humor book, so what are you going to do? It's stupid and funny at the same time. So, yeah. Harley versus Granny Goodness. <laughs> and uh, issue 75 is supposedly, well, it, they said it's going to be the last uh, book, so... We'll see. We'll see. All right, and this X Force number ten. This was read of the week for me. Uh, Benjamin Percy, who did Devil's Highway uh, last week. That was probably my uh, book of the week uh, last week. Uh, the X Force uh, were battling these telefloric creatures, and uh, take a look at that that splash page there. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Joshua Kassara, pretty capable artist. And uh, he's probably the only artist I've seen draw Kid Omega without making him look completely stupid. So, there's that. Uh, next up, uh, Deceased Dead Planet. What an awesome cover. Blade Runner homage, obviously. Um, <clears throat> and uh, a lot of people have been really digging these DC's books. They're quality reads, but nothing that are that's blowing my mind. But gotta love this cover. You got to. You got to. Alright, uh, Batman 94... This was just okay. Uh, 93 and 92 were so good that this kind of was disappointing. But it moved the story along, so what are you going to do? Uh, you're not going to hit it out of the park every time, y'all. No! No. All right, the next Justice League 48. Funny thing about this... Um, I think I kind of like the the A cover better than this 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 B cover. What do you think, huh? What do you think? But yeah, I think I like it. It's, uh, I, I like it. And then um, this was this was a quirky kind of book. The JL stumble upon two tribes who were at war with each other in space. But one thing that I take took issue with is. Uh, Look at that. There's Wonder Woman in space. And what's she wearing a helmet for? Wonder Woman's a goddess, man. She doesn't need, need to wear no space helmet. She can breathe in space. She can fly in space. She's a goddess, y'all. Come on. But like I said, this, this book was quirky and had some silly moments. Um, I mean, look at that disc monster. <laughs> Is that that's pretty silly looking? And in, in fact, uh, Flash on the next panel is like, "What the hell is that?" So yeah, this this one definitely had like a 
a very like 1970s jail vibe to me. Just saying. All right, and then lastly, oh, lastly, I have this Wonder Woman. Seven fifty eight. Seven fifty eight. Um, I I can't tell if I what, for this one I think I like the A cover better too. I'm not sure. Um, I, this A cover it's like almost spectacular but not quite. So, and, and I do like that A cover. Um, they're basically tying up the old arc in this one and Wonder Woman is battling the Phantom Stranger. It's, it was okay. And then, um, Diana's, uh, brother, uh, Jason shows up at the end. So there's that. And that's all I got for you. That's all I got for this week. Cue the outro. Ding, 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 ding. And if you've watched this far, I thank you and cheers. <laughs>